Okay. Slipped with the legs, not allowed on Gregor Roman. Next time that'll be a caution. What what you show you show Padavlio, Padavlio. Padavlio, Padavlio, you show. Oh. Coming around the back side, not quite turning the corner. As Dio Muka made off. Kazakhstan in the uh, blue, the red for Uzbekistan. I think red really contact, red. probably the biggest upset of these red World Championship. Timo Kamedov beating Roman Vlasov. Blue. Quite, okay. quite a red. surprise. Red. You know, it's interesting Martin you mentioned Martin. the upset of Vlasov, the two-time Olympic champion for the Russian Federation. Russia actually red. took a lot of hits at Blue. this year's contact. championships, yet they're still going to win the world contact. team title by more than 40 points. And it's said and done. So, you know, they go from winning seven world titles last year we have, uh, to two, I believe, this year. So, still placing, still in that silver to bronze category and a high number of Russians. But, yeah, that was certainly the match that had everybody's attention. Good defense from underneath. And Uzbekistan, before he got rolled, the whistle sounded, and... Beardy Muratov with solid parterre D. Very solid defense. No fingers. One nothing lead for Kazakhstan. This is the bronze medal match number two. It's 77 kilos. Don't forget, still one more weight class to go, plus the gold medal match at 77. Finish up the Greco-Roman portion of this year's world championships with the heavyweights, the 130 kilos. Attention, Blue. Attention. So both wrestlers have been worn with the legs. Next time will be a caution both ways, and that's penalty points. And that could be enough to determine the outcome of this match. Especially if you start thinking tiebreaker criteria, possibly. Here we have a lot of pressure almost hitting the zone. But both wrestlers staying in the middle. A lot of positional wrestling. This is turning out to be a more tactical wrestling match. And again, two wrestlers probably training with each other. Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Blue no block, action. Probably having spent time on training camps together. Two wrestlers will go off into their corners as we have a low scoring bout in this bronze medal match. Dilmuka Madoff has been so close to bronze, he's lost three bronze medal matches throughout his career with Kazakhstan. We mentioned 33 years old, started this match. He's been involved in a number World Championship appearances and tightly contested bouts, and he appears to have one more in 2019 heading down that way. He has a 1 0 lead as we move into period number two. Look for Uzbekistan and Berdy Muratov to try to put some heat on early to get that parterre back. Two shake hands, a lot of respect between these two athletes who know each other quite well. The referee making sure everything is lined up. And it is, and here we go. Three minutes to determine a bronze. And this match is really still open. No fingers. Okay, attention blue. Attention red. Betty Murata looking to score. And this will be interesting when it comes to passivity calls. This could be the point that will chip, that will decide this match. Prajorni, Prajorni, 
If you're wondering, well, why would that determine the match? It's a point, and if you're unable to get anything from Parterre, and then the score would be tied. You go to the criteria for tiebreakers, and since there hasn't been a big move, the second criteria is the number of cautions, and the third is who scored last. And that's why this parterre becomes critical. But right here, an opportunity to close this match. Open. Strong defense here, a lot of pressure applied on the grip by Dilmukhadov. Uzbekistan turning, trying to get the grip securely wrapped up around the waist and breaking it. Those hips pushing forward, the thrust underneath from Kazakhstan, and both wrestlers go to their feet. Now, as we talked about, Diomuka Madoff has some work to do. He's on the wrong end of the tiebreaker. He needs to score in the blue singlet. And he really has to turn up the pace here. Wow. One little mistake. Three to one. Uzbekistan adds to the total. Did not want to risk it going into that tiebreaker. He says, I'll keep the offense going. <laughs> and really the best way to win a wrestling match. Go in there, grab the points. Don't wait, don't relax. Certainly he did not. And now Birdie Muratov up three to one. Really nothing's changed. If your deal Muka made off, if he can get a two, then all of a sudden. Really looking here to score. To score. It's a high pace here, applying a lot of pressure. Murato trying to apply same pressure, stay active, not getting a passivity against him. A two-point move by Kazakhstan wins the bronze medal possibly because then he would have the tiebreaker for the last one scoring. But now, can he find out a way to get the two? Three to one, Uzbekistan with the lead. 20 seconds in county. This crowd on the edge of their seat. Trying to see Kazakhstan rally and get a bronze medal. Running out of time though, single digits. Neil Muka Madoff circling. Not gonna happen, Uzbekistan does it. A bronze medal, wow. three to one, your final. Really not leaving it up to the referees or judges to decide this match by going to the back, scoring two points. The best and most effective ways to win a wrestling match. Get enough points on the scoreboard. Bertie Muratov is really executing here. 